nonsense. They can't season for save their life. More locatelli cheese because I, I like fucking hate my arteries. Granulated it's garlic, amazing. that shit runs through my bloodline. <laughs> and a uh, little cracked black pepper. How you doing? Where you been? Egg wash. How you doing? Fry it. A little sauce. Mozzarella. Forget about it. Throwing on a semolina. Dude, this guy's amazing. That's a, anyway, that's a fucking, this guy, fucking, I'm telling you, I want to meet him. In, I want to be his friend. Like, just I just fucking just hit that hit that follow button. I don't even know, like how, like what do I do? How do I meet him? <laughs> you can ask me. How do I follow? Look how cool he is. Oh fuck! He doesn't look at all like what I thought no, he was gonna look like. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you can be friends with any famous person that you want, right? Or any person that you want. Like, you could just look this at a guy. dude on the street and be a friend with him, right? Okay. But you have to trade off two of your existing friends. Ah, shit. Okay. Or so. two existing people that you know. How many people do you think you can... <laughs> how many people are you willing to give up? <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, I already got a couple in mind that I'm just... <laughs> just ready to... Hey, off. look, man. Uh, you're not Italian. You're not on TikTok. You're not cooking a fucking chicken parm. <laughs> Um. So, you uh, what's well, I, cool. I do want to talk about that though. <laughs> I'll clap in the episode. What's up, y'all? Trado without a radio. You already know how it goes. Trado, Renee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn right. That this up. is my show. <laughs> There's gonna be some fucking changes around what? here. No. <laughs> First of all, how dare you? The, <laughs> how dare you? How dare you get uh that many views in in seven days? Right. Yo. Uh, uh thanks again for Kobe for coming through yesterday. Yesterday, the fuck you were here yesterday? Uh, Merry Christmas! No. <laughs> yeah, apparently we recorded Christmas um, last week. Kobe's funny. You know, yeah. I didn't realize that he's like a mastermind of fucking video games. Oh yeah, like he that and yeah. like yeah. animes Look at and that. like there's a lot of random things that he just knows a lot about. Yeah, apparently because I didn't do my research and I think it was an episode or it might have been pre uh, pre recording. Episode? Yeah. I asked him, I was like, so how often do you play video games? And he looked at me like, are you serious? <laughs> it didn't really click. Yeah. So when I was editing uh, the episode, I was like, ah, that makes sense. Yeah, there Fucking was, uh, yeah, he, he, he knows his shit. Yeah, he's good as fuck. Yeah, because like when we play online, sometimes he'll be like, oh, tell me, like, tell me when the match is actually going to start because he's playing something else while he's waiting for that. Damn, he multitasked the fucking... Yeah, so he'll be, like, playing on his Switch, and then, like, we'll be, like, on, over, on the computer, right? Uh -huh. So he's sitting at his computer, computer, game is running, he's like, tell me when it starts, because I'm playing on the Switch, and then he'll pause that, and then go back to playing that. Damn. All right, well, shout out to Kobe, a fucking massive... Ready Player One was made for Kobe. Right? That was him. He was the one guy who knew every reference. <laughs> like, he's the one that helped hide the keys. Right? He's yeah. like, no, no, no. So you want to put it here because this makes sense with the lore. Yeah, uh, yeah. You don't want to do that because King Kong will never grab it over yeah. here. No. Yeah, King Kong will never get out of my trunk. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Reference the fuck out of that again. Uh, yeah. So when he was when he was talking about it, and it, it's funny that you mentioned that like while editing, oh. you noticed you just spill all over yourself. I don't, no, I fucking hit, oh, the, you hit the mic. Uh, he, that you didn't notice like the look he gave you at, at a certain point. Yeah, it was and, funny. Um, one and when in the moment I didn't notice it either, but like after the episode went up, uh, Mike was telling me he's like, uh, Kobe just looked really confused when you guys were pouring out the the seventeen thirty eight at the beginning of the episode, like uh -huh. for that first shot. Why? Because he was like, because we we just took the shot and Kobe was like, oh, are we gonna like cheers or are we gonna you know yeah, like, and I didn't notice it at all during. <laughs> During filming, yeah. and then so then when they told me, it's like, what? That didn't happen. And so like, I went back and like started the episode. I was like, oh my god, he was all confused. <laughs> yeah. Well, even I was confused because I thought we were just gonna taste it, like sip on it, and then you were like, down the hatch. Well, I did taste it. Oh, there yeah. you go. So what did it taste like? That you tasted. All that was actually really yeah, smooth. The review. My review is when you're stone sober and that's like your first drink of alcohol. Like, yeah, it's alcohol. It burns. Yeah, of course. But it is smooth. Would you order that at a bar though? I don't think I would just because I know how expensive it is. Is it expensive? Yeah, it's probably like, you know, because if you get like top shelf anything at a bar, oh, it's yeah, expensive. Sure, yeah. And this is like top, top shelf. Damn. Damn. You know? Hell yeah. For my birthday, that's what we're going to do. Damn. All so, Let me get a bottle of seven, 1738s. It's like multiples. <laughs> no, I want 1738s of the bottle. <laughs> Damn. So it's just like a very, like it's a drop? Small. Yeah. Uh, 
No. And it's still like 20 bucks? Yeah. But get the one in the back that's not open yet. Yeah, I want it to be fresh. Yeah. Yeah, so like it, it's really smooth. Like after you left, Kobe and I, we just watched, um, we were just watching Community and we just kept on drinking it until oh, we nice. ran out of... Uh, 1738? No, no, the um the Oh, ginger ale. Ginger ale. Yeah. yeah. I was going to I was trying not to say ginger juice. The ginger juice. Was wrong. Well. <laughs> yeah, so until we ran out of it and then we stopped. We still have like a decent amount. Nice. Good like, shit. Maybe like a cup, like a mixed yeah. drink cup full. Um which I didn't realize uh that you guys were going to keep drinking here. I just kind of just dipped. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, you, you had to walk your dog. Bro. Yeah. Did you, uh, oh, you should have fucking, that was like the perfect, like, Christmas letter thing that you could have sent the postcard, you know, those things? You oh, yeah, You should have yeah, sent yeah. one of those, of the, the photo you had with your, with your dog. Like, oh, did you see that? Christmas sweater. Man, how cute was she? Nah. Like, I saw, I was like, this is like a perfect thing to get in the mail. Yeah, but then I didn't want to, like, you know, print them out, and then people just look at it and laugh. They don't even put it on their fridges anymore. It's just, Bro, I got sent one know? last year, and I had it in my fridge for, like, seven months. <laughs> It's like fucking Fourth of July. Yeah, so. and I was like, I should probably take this down. But then you don't want to be that guy that like, you, you know, those like dog people that are too dog, too much of a dog nah, person. Cool. I think for me, it would have been worse if you were in the picture too. With matching PJs. Yeah, with matching PJs. Oh, bro, how many matching PJs did you see on fucking social media? Oh my god, bro! Like, where the <laughs> fuck? Like every every person on my timeline. Yeah. I didn't even mean to talk about this. Every person on my timeline who has like a family. Matching PJs, right? It's like a uh, child or like a husband or a wife. Yeah, matching PJs. Like you gotta like, fucking do it. How? Where are y'all getting this Christmas? Shit? Matching PJs. Well, bar mitzvah. Were, a lot of matching them were PJs. the same PJs. So like multiple different families were matching oh, with thought, each other, and they I didn't know. I thought we were gonna say a lot of them were the same people with different matching PJs. <laughs> So it's like <laughs> just, the fucking twenty four days yeah. of Christmas. The... Uh, yeah. So like one one family would post and they had their matching PJs, and mm-hmm. then I would see another post from a different family. Damn. But like the two pictures had the same PJs, and I was like, ah, oh, they must have been. Uh... They probably hit that uh, Aldi AOS aisle, you know? Shit, maybe. Yeah. Was, AOS aisles had some bangers recently. Yo, I found my uh, one of my gifts for my parents. Who I found it at the Aldi AOS aisle. Nice. What, what, what it was it? dope. It was. <laughs> So back to the, do- <laughs> it was a, a dog uh, couch uh, cover. Couch cover? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found one. I was like, oh, that'd be funny to just uh, give it to my mom from like Tiana. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here oh, you go. Yeah, Sorry that's, for that's... like scratching up your couch. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I gave it to her and that was a great it, was, idea. it was a good find. It was did cool. Did you sign it from uh, TT? I did. Yeah. Nice. It was cute. It was cute. It was cute. Um, yeah, but yeah, just, you know, people. shit there. Dude. Oh, I love Aldi, man. I went to the new one. Um. It was actually really nice. The one you told me that was okay. Yeah. Yeah. But it's it was, like a normal all of Well, yeah. It, like, it, it, I went into it with expectations like, oh, it's going to have a bakery. It's going to oh, do no, all yeah. this shit. It has that fresh produce place, though, or it like does. that section. That yeah, is nice cool. that they have it. Because they didn't used to have that when they were across the street, I think. Mm-mm. No. So, like, they added something, but I thought they were going to go all in. Yeah, no. Nah. But, it, I mean, it was still really nice. Like the one in, um, in Westmont off Ogden. Or on Ogden? Yes, I haven't been to that one. That one has the fucking bakery in it. Does it? It's amazing. I'm going to have to make the trek. It's it's worth the trip. And that's like the only one i found so far that has the bakery. Also, I hate going down Ogden because uh, all the dealerships. While. Yeah, it takes a long. I mean, it takes a while. But all the dealerships like, damn, that's a nice car. Oh, Fuck, I, I, could, I could get that. In the, you know? Oh, did I tell you? Uh, well, you know how I was like uh, searching for a car yeah. or a truck? Yeah. Um, the other day I almost crashed because <laughs> I was going down Harlem and there's a, a Chevy dealership mm-hmm. um, and I was like, oh shit, they got the RS. So they got the one I want, but in the yeah. RS and uh, I was looking at it and then I don't know why I glanced back and this guy was already fully stopped. And yeah. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> oh man, I was so close. Yeah. You were so close. To the fucking- <laughs> yeah, because it was, it was dope. So I'm looking for the, the Trailblazer, yeah. right? And um I don't want to get the LT. Like I, I want to get the RS trim right. with the the two tone. They had the exact one I wanted, which yeah, is that's surprising. Yeah, I was ask. Was the one that you saw like exactly? Yeah. Like, your dream configuration. So it has the black on the roof, and then the, the body's red. Oh yeah, yeah. And it was it's dope, it's and nice. it's like a, a crimson red. Yeah. Um, I think and it, I seen I seen the the trim. Yeah, and it's it's beautiful, and I was so surprised that they had one in stock. Yeah. Yeah. But I didn't stop because I had a bunch of like presents to fucking wrap and shit. Yeah, I got to go back and. Uh, 
hopefully they don't try to rape me with the price. You know, you should um, you should just check it out online now. Like, we're not now, but like before you. Right now, <laughs> stop <laughs> right what now. we're doing. Fucking check it out. Yeah, yeah, and then because they'll sometimes they'll give you like uh, you can do like a request quote thing from on like while you're looking at it online. Yeah, I, I I've done that before, <laughs> and this is because I was trying to just figure out how much money they were gonna give me for my car. Yeah, so I did it. Without the intention of moving forward, dude, this bitch was blowing up my phone for like a week straight, like every 20 minutes. Uh, shout out to Sarah from uh, Chevy from like four hours away because I don't remember the town, but it was far as fuck and I had no intentions of driving up there. You just I just wanted to see. I just yeah. wanted to see. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then, yeah, she kept leaving me voicemails and shit. I felt like I owed her something. I was yeah. like, damn, I, maybe I should just tell her to back off. No. Yeah. Let's just load her down easy. But I didn't. I just changed my number. I just, <laughs> this is why you changed nah, phone just, numbers? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Sarah from Chevrolet just keeps calling. She keeps calling. You know what? Just I'm just going to change my number. It's just simpler, you know? Yeah, instead of telling her I'm not interested in the vehicle. <laughs> I know. No, no, but uh, yeah, dude. Um, so that that's where I was at. But that man, that fucking truck is nice. That's a good looking truck. Uh, mm-hmm. Now that I've actually realized that there's two separate ones again. Because I thought it was just the one really big one. Oh yeah, yeah, the blazer. Yeah, the yeah. actual the blazer, which ironically has a smaller name for a bigger truck. Right. I mean, uh, it looks more. The blazer looks more like a. I got to drop my kids off at soccer yeah. practice. You know. You're in the trailblazer. Is like I got to go to soccer practice. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> it's like fuck. I'm late. No. Speaking of soccer practice, yo, you trying out for the fucking frisbee team or what? Soccer practice. No, wh- I don't even remember. I don't remember. I just feel I like I'm like, going to bring it up every episode. Every episode. Until, until like, oh, because I saw like this. I'm like sitting here with the jersey on already. <laughs> like, Renee, you going to try out or what? Like, like, bro, my game's in like 30 minutes. Bro, we're like, we got to wrap this up. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. It's summer. <laughs> like, I got a jersey on too? Right? No. You're going to try out? Um, no, I saw, I saw something from that Frisbee team, and I was going to share it with you, but I forgot what it was. Uh, anyway, was it like their new? I know recently they announced their the return their home game stadium. They're playing oh. in um, it's like the South Loop. Oh, really? It's like really close to the White Sox stadium. Oh shit! Yeah. So they're not playing like at that uh, high school anymore. That no. far as fuck school. No. no. Which kind of nice. Yeah. Pro- probably decently easy to get. Like it's pretty easy to get to the, so- the White Sox stadium. Yeah, no, it's just a quick uh, jump, skip, and a uh, hop, skip, hop, skip, whatever jump. Whatever the phrase is, whatever the fuck. Yeah, so maybe, maybe it'll be nice. Go, go to some actual games again. How was your uh, How was your Christmas before we move forward? Uh, it was good. No, I I feel like I feel like I failed as a fucking like Hispanic. Ooh, you said loteria instead of loteria. loteria. Well, you're playing with uh, grains of rice. No. <laughs> white rice at not that. beans no. <laughs> you can't even see the fucking right. they just fucking blend it was like oh i had a i had a bingo all right uh, I, I had a bingo four cards ago yeah. i don't know i don't know what to tell you guys oh god no <laughs> wait how'd you feel as a mexican <laughs> you sounded so concerned <laughs> uh no so i didn't open presents like at midnight oh shit. i opened them the next morning like at 11 why no (laughs) what uh so my my mom was in mexico up until christmas day oh nice and so that's why when she left she's like oh wait don't open your presents until i get back and then Mm -hmm. we can all open them together and so since she got back on christmas day we waited and we opened it on christmas day oh that's cool so, but like I was thinking, I was like, this is the first time in my life that I've ever not opened presents like at midnight, you know. So what time did you go to sleep? I was at, I was in bed like at eleven, like ten forty, eleven, like in Damn. bed, like knocked out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow. And yeah, it was just kind of weird. What, it, what? So was it just you and your brother? Like, what would you guys do? Yeah. So um, now I'm all nosy for right? the podcast. No. No. So I, I went over to to my mom's, and obviously my brother was there. Yeah, and then we, I drove by there around that time. Should have came in. We I were, know you're we fucking playing Halo. Ah, that would have been dope. Yeah, you was playing on the Xbox, and I brought my laptop. And I was oh, that's sick. Laptop, yeah, so it was pretty cool. Nice. Uh, yeah, so I was I was chilling there during the day. My dad came over like in the afternoon. We got uh, Portillos. Ooh, it's pretty solid. That yeah, is pretty solid. Uh, Ooh, the beefs. Forget mm-hmm. it. Yeah. We got the fucking super beef or like the big beef or whatever the fuck the 
big one is called. It's just extra fucking beef. Yeah, it's like yeah. <laughs> no. the sandwich is the same. It's just more beef. Right, fucking just beef. Uh, How done? Yeah, it's like, uh, like you know, there's the normal, the large, and then this one. Oh, no, the Rizzo. The normal, no. the small, and then the big one. So it's like the normal and the small put together, essentially. Oh, okay. So the fucking the mini. Uh... Yeah, so it's like a one one and a half size. Yeah. yeah. Uh, got one of those. I feel like every chubby person should know exactly what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, fuck. I'm kind of yeah. glad I don't because it's like, oh, okay, I don't know what's wow, going on. So about. this is where the line gets drawn, right? And there's fucking someone. This is like, oh, he's talking oh, yeah. about the yeah, yeah, the, number nine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get that all the time. <laughs> With the peppers, you got to get it dipped. <laughs> With the cheese on the side. No. How like how in. How underground are you that you're fucking ordering like meal numbers at a place that doesn't have fucking numbers? <laughs> <laughs> like, sir, <laughs> it's like the and it's like the manager comes over, it's like, oh no no no, no. he's good, he's nah, good. He'll have the number nine. Nah, yeah. Go ahead, like, write nine on it so we know it's yeah, his. <laughs> just so we yeah. know it's him. <laughs> Damn. Um, yeah, it's good because I started ordering that one because it's not that much more expensive than the regular, and um, some. Some of the Portillo's that I've been to, like, their regular is, like, the small for some reason. Oh. Or, like, e- either, like, their sizing is different or, like, sometimes they just fuck up and give you, like, the wrong size bread. Yeah. So, like, one time I ordered a regular and it came out and it was, like, this big. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Yeah, like, it was, like, super small. Like, maybe this big. I feel like you're not even exaggerating. Yeah. Yeah. And so after that, I was like, well, this is stupid. I'm just going to get the big one now just in case, you know. You get fucking... Yeah, because I'd rather be a little bit too full than still hungry at the end. you can save it for later. Yeah, and I can save it for later, worst case scenario. Yeah. Uh, You know what's crazy? Uh, You ever been to like those fast food places that their medium is like a fucking extra large? Yeah. It's like, oh, you want a regular or medium? He's like, I'll do the medium. And it's like a fucking big ass gallon of... Yeah. It's like the fucking, like the fat, you know, the fat uh, soda cups where it's like the little, the bottom is thinner so it'll yeah. still fit in your cup holder yeah, but then it just expands. Like, why does this come in a big gulp? Like, what right? the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> when you get the fucking, the super big gulp, like the Ooh. 64 rounds at 7-Eleven. Like, yeah, it's that bro. fucking big. That's crazy. Um, uh, yeah, so we did that, uh, ate, and then I hung around. My dad went because he was going to go visit my uncle as well. Oh, nice. And, um... So me and my brother stayed there for a while. We watched, we watched just like random shit on like cable TV. Nice. We watched just to kill some time. Yeah, there's like a game show channel where it's just game shows all day. Oh, specifically like yeah. oh shit, that'd be cool. And uh, like yeah, watching we, Family Feud on there. And yeah, shit? essentially. Yeah. You just watch seven hours of Family Flu- Feud. A family Flued. Family Flued. Family Flued New York and forgot. <laughs> Forgot the kid. <laughs> what? The, the Home Alone? Yeah. Nice. The McAllisters? Uh, yeah, so we watched some of that, and then we ended up watching uh, We ended up watching some WWE, actually. Bro, how random as fuck is that? Man? It was uh, It was good. <laughs> it was like a fucking uh, Friday, night, Friday Night Smackdown or whatever. They had, um, they had them here in Chicago not too long ago. Oh. And I was like browsing on uh, SeatGeek for no reason mm. uh, because they don't sponsor us. But they had tickets, no. right? They had tickets for like twenty bucks, and I was like, "Oh shit, WWE!" Yeah. And I just did it. It was. I mean, we watched the whole, we watched like an hour and a half of it, like the last hour and a half of mm-hmm. the event, and we were entertained. That's pretty cool. And that, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, right? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't watched wrestling in years. Well, yeah, like, my friends used to watch it, and then I just... I, yeah, I my brother really was like trying to piece it together. He's like, well, I don't know who this guy is. Because like, you know, he watched for a decent amount. He watched for like a couple of years, like five years ago. Yeah. And so he's like, yeah, I don't know who that guy is. All right, I recognize this guy. He And then like, he would like give yeah. me his backstory. Oh, shit. And then so he was still like, kind of relevant? Like, yeah. Yeah. And then he's like, oh, like, I kind of know, like, all of these guys were, like, brand new and just starting out when I stopped watching. But, like, now... You oh, know, they're superstars? Yeah, they're, like, the main people now. Which one was fighting against The Rock in that one movie? No. Uh, John Cena. No, uh, the one with the long hair? The, the Undertaker? R- Rain? Roman? Roman Atwood? Ro- <laughs> the YouTuber? <laughs> yeah. Wow, Smile Ro- More? Uh, oh, I know who you're talking about. Roman Rain? Was Roman, it him? Roman yeah, yeah. Reigns or something. He has like, like the hair that looks wet, but it's not. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, he just got like a uh, bootlegged uh, Jason Momoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he looks like Aquaman, but he doesn't. Yeah. Yeah, I got to get back into that. Yeah, so it was, it was pretty fun. And then when that ended, like, that's when I drove back and, like, 
I watched like a YouTube video or something, and then I went to bed. So it was like ten thirty, eleven. Nice. Yeah. What'd you guys do? Um, it was uh, it wasn't that interesting. Like it was <laughs> no, but it was, <laughs> wow. nah, it was fun. It was yeah, fun. People are boring as fuck. No. Uh, I dropped off uh, Cindy's nephew's gifts over there at her house, and then I came home, and we were just chilling. We were playing. Uh, I was playing beer pong with my nephew without the beer, without the water. It was like wow. So, so it was just empty cups. Yeah, yeah. It was weird. <laughs> so my brother has a, a poker table. You know how they have like, like velvet. That felt. Well, oh, oh, yeah. uh, felt. What did I say? Felt. Velvet. You said velvet. Yeah, it felt. And I didn't want to get it wet, so I was like, "Fuck." Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, let's put shot glasses in the cups. Mm-hmm. You know. So he's like, "No, that's not gonna work." I was like, "Dude, I works. Like, I, I got this. Trust me." So we're playing, right? He's kicking my ass. And every fucking shot that I would make, it would hit the glass rim and bounce right yeah. out. And I was like, this is stupid. This doesn't work. He's like, I told you, you don't want to get everything wet. I was like, dude. And he beat me twice. <laughs> um, yeah, that was funny. But no, we were just chilling, playing games and shit. We were playing spoons and like uh, like Uno, trying to kill some time. Yeah. Um, and then I think we started opening gifts like at 11. Wow, so you just gave up? Yeah, like it was... Uh, people were like bored and tired and like we started opening gifts like at 11.30. Yeah. Which was, by we, it was just, like, my niece and nephew. Yeah. Yeah, and they were just opening gifts. Uh, it was cool. And then, yeah, that was it. Nice. I got an espresso machine. Yeah, yeah, you Bro, uh, I told you off air, but I, I used it right before coming here. And shout out to Jody for getting me a machine. Yeah, he knew. I was wired as fuck on my way over here. It's starting yeah. to chill out a little bit, but, bro, whatever. Like, holy shit. I went to... Um, Went to Target and bought like the uh, espresso Fucking style bulletproof espresso. Yeah, <laughs> no, there was one. <laughs> there was one. I kind of want to Google it. It was a twenty dollar bag though, so I didn't buy it. But yeah, it was like coffee of death. Yeah, and it was like the world's strongest coffee. Yeah, that, that's essentially what that like the bulletproof. Yeah, is. holy shit! I would love to try that. But I don't know. You were pretty wired. Apparently. I was. I was pretty geeked Fucking right now. Mix, missed the exit on the expressway. <laughs> Yeah, I missed the exit on the expressway, and I was driving. Well, it's, okay, let me tell the story. I was driving, and I was, like, you know, jamming out, listening to music. And, like, every song for the last, like, 10, 15 minutes, it was, like, a good-ass song, you know? And I'm driving. And then I was like, oh, fuck it. I'll get the next one. And then the next one, I was like, oh, shit. Wait a minute. So I didn't realize that the playlist that I had on was Apple, like, curates, like, uh, your favorite songs of 2021 mm-hmm. and, like, put it all in one playlist. So then that was going on. I was like, damn, why are all these songs good as fuck? And it's, it's like, hitting. they're the most played songs in my fucking playlist. Yeah. So yeah, and then I was all wired and I'm jamming out and I had a whole concert and I missed the exit and then I came a different route and I don't know. It was weird, but um, that coffee machine was dope yeah, though. You made it. I made a latte. Like, I got the frother. Oh, nice. You're going to be all fucking legit now? Bro, super legit. Wait till I fucking start doing the, the, the latte art. That shit's gonna be That's dope. It's, over. it's it's gonna be dope. Make no, a little got, uh, podcast one. Yeah, I think I, I think I might have mentioned this to you, off air at some point. But one one of the gifts I got from my mom was like a couple a couple of the big Mitch micheladas. Oh yeah, yeah. the the michelada mix. Yeah, and so like I put it in like in a bag, and then like I put it in with like three like Pacificos. Nice. And then just like fucking. You know, filled it up like a normal present. So yeah. she opened it. She's so confused because you know she <laughs> took the fucking wrapping paper off, or the the whatever that paper's called that you oh, put yeah. in the bags, took it out, and there's just beer. And it's just like what? What the? She starts making a michelada, right? And all instantly. Starts cutting the limes. Yeah, like she didn't get it. It's like why did she just give me beer? Oh wow! And then, oh, like, she didn't see the mix. Yeah, because it was like underneath the beers, like in its own little package. Yeah. And uh, I was like, no, no, there's still more in there. Oh wow! And then she pulled out the shit, and she's like, I never like <laughs> like i never would have ever expected like this as a kid beer yeah no. and she loved it though but that's like, awesome she was just like i did not expect that at all we had uh we had micheladas the other day at work mm-hmm. man they were great we big had, mitch uh, shout out to big mitch yeah. for being on the show before yeah and c- continuing to make good micheladas. did you see he made uh the new um the bloody mary mix I, I kind of want to try it out. I kind of do as well. Yeah. I got the um, I got like an order of the the original, and then I got one of the the pepino one. Ooh, that's I good. hadn't tried that one before, and shit slaps. It's pretty good. The mango one's really good too. Now I got to try the flavors. <laughs> the, they have another one, that, like a tamarindo one, no? Yeah, tamarindo's good. And then I think that's it, right? It's those three, and then the original, and then the, now there's the bloody mary mix. Yeah. Wait, there is a mango one. Yeah. Is it mango tamarindo or is it just tamarindo mango? Wait. Oh, no. 
Am I tripping? I don't know. Uh, it's really good, though. I don't know. Yeah. Michelada mix. Um, there's a couple of them that are out there, but not trying to be biased, but literally Big Mitch is probably my favorite. I haven't... Well, I liked it so much that I haven't even bothered to like try the other ones. Nice. Because I have seen like some... Like, I'll get ads sometimes of, like, not Big Mitch, and I think it's Big Mitch at first. It's like, oh, they changed the logo, and then I, like, actually read it, and, like, it's some other company. Yeah. And I was like, ah, oh, well, I guess. I guess. I mean, I'm not going to go buy it. Yeah. So. Like, I already know I like this one. Oh, wow. Like, brand loyalty. That's how it works. Yeah, for real. Uh, speaking of Big Mitch, one time we went to a Kid Cudi concert. Uh-huh. Um, Cindy and I were waiting outside in, like, 30 degree weather mm. and uh, we were waiting because we wanted, obviously want to be like front row and it was uh, outside of the Aragon the Aragon ballroom mm-hmm. and <laughs> she's like hey uh, we should make micheladas so we made fucking just we brought Big Mitch and like yeah. just had beers in the, in the back of the trunk and then we were just making micheladas just nice. drinking in front of everybody and all the kids were like what the fuck is that because we had like red shit all over our faces uh, it was I'm great bleeding. Yeah. I'm bleeding I'm like, help. The, help! Let me, me cut you. The, <laughs> let me get let me in first. <laughs> yeah, it was it was crazy. Um, that that reminded me of a, of a story. This was a long time ago now, but you for some reason that reminded me. You know how you could just go to like maybe not Walgreens, but like Walmart, or like whatever, like grocery store, and mm-hmm. like in the aisle where they have like the paper plates, paper cups, and all that, mm-hmm. they actually sell like those paper or like plastic plasticky like coffee containers that come with the lid and stuff oh yeah like the styrofoam ones yeah like the styrofoam yeah. ones and then they have like the little sleeve and shit mm-hmm. and so for some reason this had never crossed any of our minds myself uh kobe and and jose who've all had episodes <laughs> now so you can check them out mm-hmm. um it, it crossed my our mind for the first time like what if we buy these then we could just drink everywhere because <laughs> so you don't Put coffee in it. Yeah, you just put alcohol in it. Essentially, yeah. Yeah, and then you can just drink everywhere because like it's kind of acceptable. You could be on the bus if you see a dude drinking out of a coffee cup, you assume it's coffee. Yeah, and you don't think anything of it, or like you could be walking down the street drinking a coffee. That's a little uh, uh, borderline alcoholic, it, but it yeah. Is. The, but, <laughs> but hear me out, bro. And it's eight thirty in the morning. Why do you <laughs> smell like vodka? <laughs> hear me out, though. Wow. Well, the, and then it was like, yeah, this is amazing. Like, we just, like blew our minds. Yeah. And maybe we were just stupid. This was like, we were all still in college. Right. Um, but yeah, and then we like filled it up and we were just sitting, on the, we were sitting on the bus. Like we were taking the bus to like downtown Madison mm-hmm. and we were just sitting on the bus happy as fuck, just drinking. <laughs> Cause no one was questioning it. Yeah. Nobody was questioning Damn. anything. That's actually the move right there. It was really nice. I don't think I've never done it after that day, mm-hmm. but like that day I was just like, you can put not coffee in here. Ooh, have you ever had a hotty toddy? I haven't. That's like Those a coffee with whiskey, no? Or it's a uh, it's like whiskey? a tea. Yeah, yeah, it's you drink it hot. Uh, well, yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> essentially, yeah. It's because there's iced tea. Mm-hmm. It's not the same though. Ooh, the uh, you know what I had the other day? The uh, what are they called? Uh, not Arnold Palmer. It's the other one. Twisted tea. Okay. I haven't had it in a long time, and I had one over ice, bro. Over easy? No. Over easy. It was good. It was really good. Twisted tea. That's the... I'm trying to think of their flavors. I've only had the original lemon oh. one. Okay. Yeah. But they have like a peach one that's really good. Peach things are good. From what I heard. From where? From what I've heard. Oh. I haven't tried it, though. I thought, I thought you were saying the name of a place. Well, no, I'm sure everywhere sells them. Yeah. Huh. Never mind. I was gonna say, you think people in Georgia are tired of fucking peach shit? Like, oh, because they just have like yeah, they just have a whole bunch, bunch of peach shit, shit. like Budweiser peach, like <laughs> you know, Budweiser peach, yeah, or like well, waffles peach, like. I, I wouldn't think so. That's like saying, do you think people in St. Louis are tired of, tired of drinking Budweiser? But like, that's probably like the number, the highest sold domestic beer there. That's true. But it it hits different though when it's fucking fresh, well, fresh as shit. Yeah, yeah. I think I mentioned it a couple of times. Like I want to I want to go back to St. Louis now, being of legal drinking age. So like we could Dude, take like a brewery tour and like let me know whenever you're down. I will gladly drive down there with you. That'll be cool. Mm-hmm. 
and it seems like a trip that's not you know it's not too far like you don't have to fly like yeah it's nice it's like a good little drive go yeah. down there and catch a catch a game they don't have any basketball teams no I, I thought you were saying baseball catch a oh yeah but then you go in the summer and then it's all hot that's true no they don't have a they have a hockey team I think the Blues yeah the same, yeah yeah that'll be cool. When's hockey season? Is that now? That's now, actually. Yeah. Perfect. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, so you're not doing anything with your uh, vacation days? Well, I took just random. Like I have like oh tomorrow off, and then oh, I took nice. last week to last week Monday off. Oh, to nice. Just waste them. Yeah, I I thought you were gonna like go to L.A. or something. I wanted to, but like there wasn't really any tickets were expensive. <laughs> I was Damn. like trying to come up with something else, but like <laughs> no, no, you see, yeah. yeah, I would assume so with the holidays. Yeah, and I was like, oh, this makes perfect sense. So I was just like, I couldn't even be mad. I was like, yeah, like I'd kind of be upset if they weren't expensive. Yeah, why aren't people fucking going? Yeah, why aren't yeah. you going home? Yeah. yeah, go home, visit your parents. Or yeah. actually, I guess like to LA would probably be cheap because everyone's flying out out of LA. Yeah, but yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna. I still want to go. I just want to go everywhere again. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, because like I want to go back to LA like that. You know, I haven't been there in a minute now. Go back to the comedy store. It'd be cool. <sighs> Still haven't been there. Because like now, you know, after they reopened and like all a whole bunch of comics moved out mm-hmm. of LA, I was like, oh, well, I don't really know who these people are, but like now I'm starting to know who they are. But you think it's like a new wave of comics? Yeah, like, yeah, I think yeah. it's like a new wave. But like now that as I'm like recognizing the names a little bit more, I'm like more excited to try to see them. Yeah. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, because like one of the, um, I don't think I mentioned it. One of the new podcasts that I started listening to, or oh yeah, I did mention that I started. I watched like a random episode, but now I'm like watching every week. The Trash Tuesday is um, uh, Bobby Lee's girlfriend Kalila mm-hmm. and um, these two stand ups, uh, Esther, Esther something. Esther, uh, uh, the molester. I don't know. Esther the molester. <laughs> is it a girl or That's a boy? A, yeah. Oh, Esther, I don't know, Esther, whatever, and Annie, Annie Letterman. Oh, damn, remember, that sounds, that yeah, sounds I like a, her last name, because, like, that one's, yeah. like, easy. Esther, her last name is just something dumb, like, well, it's, like, it's just wow. her last name, you know? Uh, but, yeah, I started watching it, because they're, they're pretty funny. Nice. And, like, they were, somehow they're always talking about, like, fucking, fucking, well, fucking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Somehow they're always talking about that, but, like. Also making fun of Esther a lot. Wow, she's like the go-to. Yeah, she's yeah. like the fucking. She just gets picked on. The target. Yeah. Oh. But uh, I think she's pretty funny. I watched some of her like stand-up clips, mm-hmm. and like now I like them because nice. I've seen her on on the podcast. I need to find a new podcast to watch. Any recommendations? Trash Tuesday. True. <laughs> I actually I might check it out. So the the podcast I listen to every Monday. I don't know these last couple of weeks they just. They weren't it. Mm-hmm. I don't know if like it's because they're transitioning to to Austin or like oh they're like mid move something. Yeah, or? they're they're setting up their new studio in Austin. Um, so Bert flies like back and forth. Oh yeah, I have noticed that like even like some of the clips that I've seen of them like yeah. it's like weirdly set up. Yeah, they're like in a low lit room with a yeah. fucking black curtain. And they're just there. Yeah. Which I mean, I get it. I mean, it's still funny, but I don't know some of the stuff they're talking about now. It's like hmm. It's, it's, I, I, it would hit different if I was like a forty-five-year-old white man, you know. Well, they are like forty-five-year-old yeah, white men. <laughs> exactly. Well, that being said, like uh, this, my new like current favorite podcast is three women in their mid to late thirties. So, oh shit, you maybe know. you're. A... I'm a fucking. <laughs> I don't know between this and my fucking uh, top Spotify artist. I don't what? know anymore. <laughs> Maybe you should drive the blazer and take your kids to soccer practice. Fuck it. Wow. Yeah, um, dude. That's. I mean, that's cool though. Like, it, at least it's consistent. Yeah. Oh. Sir, we what? said turn off your phones in the theater. Uh, Pavitsky. Ooh, should is I take this name. call? Yeah, fuck it. Let's take this call. All right. Hey, what's up, baby? You're on the podcast. Not what I. Not who I expected hey. to be calling. <laughs> Hold on. Do you want to be on the podcast? I can put you on speaker right now. Do I have your consent? You sure do not. Okay. Can I call you back in like an hour? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sounds good. But <laughs> Babe, we need to talk. <laughs> hey, you're on the podcast. Right? Yo, that would have been funny if she was like, first of all, how no. dare you put me on this how podcast? How dare you put me on the podcast? 
You know what we should do again when we were calling people randomly and mm. we were like fucking just, just yeah. Yeah, we should do that again. Uh fuck, what was I going to say before the call? Okay, so I should watch that podcast then? Yeah, it's it's entertaining. They just went to fucking Hawaii for the last couple episodes. Hawaii? Mhm. Yo, that's dope. And uh yeah, they just talk about They basically don't really talk about anything, but it's entertaining. I think it's it's entertaining because it's just a, such a vastly different perspective from yeah. myself, not being a 30 to 38-year-old woman <laughs> of not color. Right. So, yeah, maybe it's just seeing <laughs> seeing the different spin. Right? Yeah. They, maybe they I should start listening to, like, practice. Nikki Glacier's podcast or something. Oh, she was on that podcast. Oh, was she? A month ago. Yeah. Nice. They talked about how... and th- See, this is shit that I would never know. Like... <laughs> I would I would live my like, whole life not knowing this. Like how your husband just leaves his dirty socks laying yeah. around? Yeah. And now I know why it's annoying. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I won't leave dirty there socks. There you go. Wait, <laughs> like what, though? Yeah, I like how that example was like super nice. <laughs> they, uh, they were talking about how when they're having sex, they, oh, wow. they like to do the least amount of work as possible. What? Okay. And so they were talking about how the most sexually demanding thing in their collective opinions for a woman to do is give a man a blowjob. Like that's where she's putting in the most work. Well, I would assume so. Yeah. Yeah. And so one of them was like, yeah, if it was up to me, like I would just prefer that you uh, fucking, what she skull fuck me. Oh, cause then they're just yeah, laying there. Yeah, they're just like, I just want you to use, like you come in, do your thing and I'll just, I'll hang out. Yeah. So instead of the guy just hanging out, like yeah, she's just hanging out. Exactly. Yeah. And then I was like, and makes, it's still the same. And it's the feeling. same at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just like, huh. just like, yeah, just fucking come in, do your thing, and leave me alone. Yeah, like I'm, I'm just trying to go about my day. You think like, 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 like moms that just like are at home during the day. That's this literally they listen yeah, to? they no. listen to those podcasts. Like, that's their targeted audience essentially. Is yeah, I don't know. Is listening to podcasts the new like? Being a stay-at-home parent watching daytime television. Yeah, because no one's checking in on a soap opera. Like, yeah. So like now, you know, I don't know. Are those hospital shows out the window? Yeah, and it's like yeah. that's the same shit as watching one of those shows. Like, there's a new episode weekly. There's a new episode weekly of most podcast. Yeah, yeah. I never thought about that. So podcasts are the new novellas. Yeah, yeah. Or soap huh. operas, if if you don't speak Spanish. Yeah, if you don't, uh, if you don't Hispanic. So maybe instead of trying to find one that you're relating to, you should just find a total opposite one like you did. Yeah. So I should find one from a different perspective. Yeah. So maybe I should get like a, like a, I don't know, let's, uh, a Middle Eastern. (laughs) All right. Hold on. uh, What? What? (laughs) Grapes. Uh, All right. Uh, <laughs> middle <You said> grapes. <laughs> I'll Did get that. I'll, I'll get to grapes? that in a second. <laughs> grapes. Uh, if you know, you know. <laughs> so a Middle know. Eastern podcast mm-hmm. that talked about marriage. Uh, yeah, that'll be dope. Because think about it, you don't really know what a fixed marriage is like until you hear it from the source. That's true. So that'll be interesting. Yeah, I mean, huh. there's probably a podcast of that. You're right. Let's look it up. Fucking. <laughs> How my life arranged? Ma- I don't know. I don't know. What would, there's a good name for that. Uh, let's see. What would what would that even be? Arranged. All right, give me three keywords. Arranged marriage podcast. Arranged. I I had this Google search ready in my head from the moment. You oh said shit! It. Arranged marriage for the modern Indian man. <laughs> it sounds like they're trying to sell you on it. Yo, hold up. Is it a dating website? Would we get flagged <laughs> if we play this? Uh, probably not. Because there's an episode 24 called The Days After. All right. Let's see, see a quick clip. Let's just, let's, just, let's just hear them out. I'm going to skip to like the middle of the podcast. Yeah, like I want to I wanna be in the heat of the moment. Okay. I had a drink while I was waiting. I also didn't have a drink when I was meeting God to me because it was lunchtime and I also didn't really feel like having a drink. Which is surprising. But uh, I did have a drink when I was meeting Sindhu, and she commented on it straight away, but not in a bad way. She was just like, "Oh, you're having a beer already." <laughs> like, so, and, okay, so what I got from that five seconds? Don't don't drink, drink in the middle. Lunch. Yeah, because then your wife's gonna comment on it, and she's gonna be upset. Well, but if it was an arranged marriage, 
your wife would have been drinking with you because you would know that she likes to drink mimosas. Well, either that or she can't. She she doesn't have an option. It's in, it's already oh, arranged. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, I guess one one last thing, if if this helps <laughs> uh, motivate you to start or to give uh, the Trash Tuesday podcast a a listen. Oh yeah. Most of the weeks, at least that I've seen, they have a theme, so they always dress up differently. So it's always interesting to see what they do. Wait, 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 they dress up? Yeah, so like this day they did like Halloween costumes or like uh, vegetables or whatever the fuck. Yo. And then. Should we dress up? This day they dressed no, up as me. nurses. Okay, well, that's. Uh, this day they were like in a like, sleepover wardrobe. Why are they all so cool? Yeah, so they just dress up as random shit. Uh, one of the episodes they dressed up as like Selena, I think. Like Selena, the singer? Yeah, like the singer, just oh, different shit. outfits. Uh, oh, yeah, there was one when they dressed up as like. Uh, goth girls. Well, uh, there was one where they dressed up as like some random shit. But yeah, they do a, a bunch of weird dress. Oh, they did like track suits one day. Oh, like, like Italian, like Italian mafia. Forget mafian, about it, mafian. Oh man, oh man, maybe I should listen to an Italian. Oh, podcast. you got Joey Diaz. No. Yeah, but that's Joey Diaz. That's like he's Cuban, but you could be Italian if he's just all over the place. Close enough. Yo, there's this, uh, so, <laughs> there's, I don't want to admit it publicly, but there's this podcast, not podcast, uh, TikTok that I've been uh-huh. actively listening to or looking for, okay. but I don't follow him because I don't want to like, commit. It's this Italian guy from, from, uh, from, uh, what's that island in New York? It's Staten like, the, Island? yeah. So he's from Staten Island, but he calls it Staten, Staten Italy. <laughs> Okay. And he's this Italian guy, right, with a big nose. Yeah. And then <laughs> he he does these random TikToks of him like cooking and shit. Uh-huh. And oh man, I gotta play one. I gotta play one real quick. So he does these TikToks. Um, so, and at the end of every TikTok, he goes, "Take care, brush your hair." Okay, bro. That's, okay. Where's the live by? So what what's what's keeping you from committing to this? Because I don't want to commit to a random TikToker. It's just when I see it, I see it. But yeah, then when I, mean, I see it, I'll would watch. Would this like, be the first TikToker that you like subscribe to or follow or whatever the fuck you do? Maybe, yeah. All right, so this is big. You know, this is big. Uh, <laughs> fucking, what are you gonna make? Staten Island <laughs> Italian guy. I found him. Oh, nice. Okay, so, <laughs> so this one, he's making a. Uh, chicken parmesan, I guess. I'm going decided to have a light lunch, a little chicken palm salad. I'm using the organic chicken, that's why it's a salad. So we're gonna do a little seasoned breadcrumbs, apple much, you know, the heart disease salt. I mean, these say they're seasoned, but that's fucking nonsense. They can't season for save their life. More locatelli cheese because I, I like fucking hate my arteries. Granulated garlic, amazing. that shit runs through my bloodline. <laughs> And uh, a little cracked black pepper. How you doing? Where you been? Egg wash. How you doing? Fry it. A little sauce. Mozzarella. Forget about it. Throwing on a semolina. Dude, this guy's amazing. The, anyway, the fucking, this guy, okay. I'm telling you, I want to meet him. In, I want to be his friend. Like, just I just fucking just hit that hit that follow button. I don't even know. Like, how? Like, what do I do? How do I meet him? <laughs> I thought you were going to ask me, how do I follow? Look how cool he is. Oh, fuck, he doesn't look at all like what I thought he was going to look like. <laughs> bro, bro, I was expecting, like, uh, I, don't, I don't know. Like a just, heavy set dude? Yeah, like, I've been watching too much Sopranos. So yeah. whenever I hear that voice, I just imagine, like, a heavy set, like, middle-aged dude. With a tracksuit, and they got yeah. the little chest hair right here. Exactly. Yeah, no, nah, this guy he looks, looks like, like a, a fucking... He looks like he's a fucking working down at a Galloping Ghost. Oh, man. Uh, okay, when we finish up the episode, I'll show you a couple of my favorite ones. But I actively, like, yeah. when I see him on my thing, like, I'll Just watch it. Fucking hit the follow button, I can't, man. though, man. I'm actually surprised that you, because you've had TikTok for a while. Yeah, but. you just So you just open it up and just fucking let it fly. Yeah, like, if it comes up, it comes up. But then when it comes up, it's like, oh shit, this is the guy. And then yeah, like, see, imagine, yeah. imagine you can just cut out, cut out the middle part, and you can just go straight to the guy. Nah, but then it, it like, it eliminates that like surprise, you know? All right, I guess. Well, uh, yeah, especially if you only follow one person, then you're gonna see every, mm-hmm. you know, everything as he posts. The algorithm. You gotta, you gotta just, you gotta like a whole bunch of them. We need an Italian friend. No, we don't have a lot of Italians in. 
in, uh, <laughs> we need, probably we, not in Illinois. We need to go to New York. Newark. We got to go to hit up New Jersey. Yeah. How you doing? Uh, some fucking fresh crack, crack paper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. What? what? <laughs> fresh crack paper? What? That sounded like a fucking dude from Alabama who moved to New what? York. <laughs> <laughs> so the fresh crack paper, your pack paper, your pack paper. Yeah, well, yeah, forget about it. Yeah, what are you gonna do? You're fucking yeah, forget about it. <laughs> and then he goes, "Tell you, tell your sister I said hello." Like what? <laughs> Completely forgot what. Oh my god, what that's I was hilarious. Say now. <laughs> Whatever fresh crack paper was, I derailed myself so bad. Uh, I still think you should give him a follow. Mozzarella, like him or something. And then you can uh, you can follow the the girl that I send you Instagrams of. <laughs> From time to time, the I oh she man, she's it. funny. Uh, with the with the brownies last time, yeah, like, she was high as ago. fuck. Yeah, dude. So this guy sends me a, a, this chick that I guess her mom made him. Mm-hmm. Her mom made brownies and put them away, hit them. She found them and then she's like, "Oh, man, these brownies are great," and she didn't realize they were edible brownies. Yeah. And she was just. It was funny. <laughs> she was kind of fucking blasted. But you see, the thing about these internet people, like, they're funny as fuck. Yeah. But they're just normal people. So how do we meet these cool, funny, normal people? <laughs> how, how do how do I stop fucking with these regular ass yeah, people? Yeah, you know, I'm like I don't, with. I don't want to like. Well, <laughs> yeah, how do I ditch these, my regular friends and get some cool people? Uh, around. Fuck these non-Italian regular people, yeah. right? Let's get some cool Italian. Let's get some Italian you, dudes. How you doing? You know, yeah. Forget about it. <laughs> That's fucked up. Um, just know, ditch your, all your regular friends, just so you could be all right. If you could ditch. Sorry, I don't know why it's not on the... On the muter? On the muter. Uh, all right, you could be friends with any famous person that you want, right? Or any person that you want. Like, you could just look this at a guy. dude on the street and be a friend with him, right? Okay. But you have to trade off two of your existing friends. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, or so... Or two existing people that you know. How many people do you think you can... <laughs> how many people are you willing to give up? <laughs> okay, well... I mean, I already got a couple in mind that I'm just <laughs> just ready to. Hey, off. look, man, uh, you're not Italian, you're not on TikTok, you're not cooking a fucking chicken parm. Um, so you, you you think you'd be able to? How many famous people you think you're you're now friends with? I would acquire. How many How many times do you think you could snap people off? It sounds fucked up, but I I could, I could do a couple. Like I and I don't want to like put you on the spot. Like I think I could do like three. I could do like three or yeah. four. Yeah, five pushing it. But like if I like actually sat down and made a list, I could probably get up to five. But like off. Yeah. If someone's like off the cuff right now, you have like a minute. Like I could probably do three. Okay, so who would you trade three friends for? Like what's the? <laughs> it's like all right, so which three friends? <laughs> yeah, okay, but not the, not the three friends because that's bogus as fuck. Like they're probably listening to this. Like, well, you better not say my name. Right? But now everyone. Damn. Yeah. Uh, all right. So obviously that guy from your TikTok. No. Well, <laughs> Does he just look cool? He's like cool. He probably knows a lot about everything. Yeah, he's uh, just Italian. He's just cool. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what three people I would pick. And that's the thing, though. Do you want a super famous friend, mm-hmm. or would you rather have like a D-list friend, a D-list celebrity, that's friend? still like low key? You don't have to like walk through the back door, you know? Yeah. And like in this scenario, like you're friends with them. Like you could pick. Yeah. You like you pick. Like Elon Musk, and he'll make time because you're like his best friend. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so then Doctor Strange casts a spell, right? Right. That allows you to become friends with that person. Yeah, and, and like from their perspective, like that's their like you've they, been boys yeah. forever. Yeah, like fucking day one shooting in the gym with you. Yeah, like you go over his house and yeah. his mom says hi to you and shit. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. kind of thing. Uh, Damn, that's a good one. I don't know, but I feel like that makes it hard now because like you could just pick who do you think would be cool and like yeah hey, I want to be friends with them. See that's the thing though you don't want to you don't want to pick the you don't wrong waste jerk. It. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to pick a remove, jerk. You had to remove two friends. You know you had to trade two people for this person. Damn. Yeah, dude, that's a oh uh, like, and, and it's fresh in my mind obviously because it you know his movie just came out but you know I feel like Tom Holland would be kind of cool. Tom Holland would be dope. He seems like he's a cool. Even person. Tom Holland's best friend. Yeah, like even just being. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Zendaya could come with us too. Yeah, fucking, yeah you could think all, out with all Zendaya. four of us. Uh, fucking good old fo- foursome. Man, imagine that they're just cool as fuck. Like, yeah, they're just cool dudes. Like, yo, uh, dudes. you want to play uh, Spider Man on the PS5? Like, dude, that's no, you. That's man. me. I can't play me. 
I can't play it. You let him borrow it. No. <laughs> We're friends, so he's going to let you borrow it. Of the, I forgot whose joke it was, but it was like, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't listen to my own stand-up specials. Like that'd be that'd be super narcissistic of me. That'd be like going over to Kanye's house and <laughs> Kanye sitting on the couch listening to his old his own album, it's being like, crazy. "Damn, this should go hard." But should, it, this old Kanye still goes hard. Like, no? At the time he said that, it was like before Kanye kind of went off the deep end. Mm. But like mm-hmm. now saying it, it's like, yeah, you, you totally show up to Kanye's house and he's listening to himself. You definitely picture that yeah. shit. Like he's still critiquing his music. Wait, uh, wait, wait, would you pick Kanye? Ooh, Ooh, yeah, would you pick Kanye? Fuck, dude, I don't know. Would you not pick Chance the Rapper? Oh, man, would I don't know. Would you not put him in there? But see, with Chance, though, like... Well, you're like, oh, I, I, could, I could maybe just be friends with him. I don't I, have to, I don't have have to ditch three of my yeah. existing friends. But it's like still like a Chicago friend, though. Like, yeah. you know, like you could still be like... So you're trying to be friends with like... Like he knows about Vintners and yeah. like he knows about like fucking not getting on the 294 at yeah. 5 o'clock. But with Drake, it's like, if you go, well, because I had Drake in my head, yeah. Drake is the possibility, yeah, you could like hang out with him and then go to his house in Toronto and be like, yeah, Drake would be kind of cool, actually. That would be really cool. Cause I he's think it like, would be Drake. It's like French still, you know, like a, like <laughs> Canadian. Exotic. He's exotic. You know, you got like, I don't know, man. Like, I don't, and then there's, there's like a couple YouTubers that I'd like to be friends with. And that's the like, thing, too. I would too. trade some people for that. That's what I was saying. Like, would you do an A-list celebrity or like a D-list like YouTuber? Yeah. Like, I think I would do I think I would do one A-list, but that would be like once I'm like pushing it, you mm-hmm. know? Like the first couple people where I'm like cutting people off of my out of my life to trade, <laughs> like I'm probably going to do like YouTubers. Yeah. Yeah. Just to try it out. Well, well you only even, get one, though. Dr. Strange is not going to be right. fucking conjuring shit up. Right. <laughs> Oh, the the dude perfect guys seem pretty cool. Yeah, you, you you don't even have to be friends with all of them. You can just trade two people, be friends with one of them. <laughs> and he brings you along. Yeah, and then he you brings become, you along, and then yeah, you can organically oh, become friends yeah, with them yeah, later. Yeah. So if you want to be a part of a crew or like a yeah, like you a, just need you need an in. Oh man, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, because it's like oh, I'm gonna oh, we're gonna go shoot some uh, some dude perfect videos in Seattle. Let me call up my boy Trado, you know, because he has a buddy who lives out there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then he could like pick us up yeah, from the airport. Yeah, he could pick us up from the airport. And then it's like, oh, Trey. But what if the, the guy, guy I got in Seattle? What if that's yeah. the guy that gets cut off? Oh. Damn, <laughs> fuck the hey, Zach. No, look, <laughs> Doctor Strange said, <laughs> Doctor Strange said, I gotta cut you off. No, no, no. Shout out to Zach. Uh, totally Wong podcast. <laughs> Go check that out. The, <laughs> look at you trying to. Make, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. The, you're gonna trade two more people so <laughs> you can be friends with Zach again. <laughs> bring him back. Bring him back. He's actually been on this show a couple of times, so. Yeah. Uh, damn, imagine, like, you cut somebody off because you thought you didn't, like, need them, but then you're like, oh, fuck. So you cut off two other people just to be friends with that person again? Yeah, but then. So, like, you just gave up two people for no reason. Yeah, that's wild. But now you know that that friendship is real. Yeah, because you want it back. Yeah. Yeah. But what if the new friendship is better than that friendship? Then it was a good trade. You know who would be pretty cool? J. Cole. Oh, okay. He he yeah. has a... Um, he got interviewed by that one dude. Oh, uh, yeah. The weird one? Uh, Narvar? Narvar. Narvar. Yeah. Yeah, like, I gotta check that yesterday. out. Yesterday. Like, I saw the... When I saw it, it was like 17 minutes ago. Oh, so it's like, oh, like, shit. like a recent one. Yeah. That's dope. Narvar. Um, I definitely wouldn't trade for that guy. Nardwar? Nah, I wouldn't. Nah, trade nah. It sounds like he knows everything. Yeah, I wouldn't trade it for. Like, hey, Nardwar, like, oh, oh, what about Ryan Reynolds? That'd be kind of a good one. That would be kind of a good one. I feel like I feel like, like he'd be busy all the time though. Yeah, but I feel like it would just feel that much better because they'll like, oh, you know, I got this thing for Mint Mobile, but yeah, come through, fuck it. Yeah, we'll hang out for a bit. Yeah. You know, like, hey, man, I got these extra passes for this movie. If you yeah, want to come like, check oh, it I got out. tickets to this premiere, but I can't make it because I'm fucking shooting another one or shooting shit. So if you want the tickets, that's that's all you, man. You, you know, know who, he yeah, seems like that yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. Damn. You know who? Actually, you know who else I would pick? Um, uh, the dude that runs uh, Hot Ones. Oh, Sean Evans. Sean Evans. He's a cool Chicagoan. No, but see, then it's a, just a Chicago. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, you sure. Just want, the, me, oh, imagine me, Sean, and Chance hanging out on Lake Street. All right. Yeah, doing but are, doing are nothing. You, did you also trade somebody for Chance? Or are you hoping ah, fuck, that? fuck, that's like five friends right there. Yeah, but are you hoping that because you're friends with Sean Evans, like he'll be like, oh, let me, you're a big Chance fan. Let me bring my buddy Chance oh. on. Or let me bring my buddy Chance to hang out with us. 
You know? That would be a good Hot Ones interview. What? what? <laughs> you and Chance? So you see, I'm already looking for more fucking... <laughs> more publicity. Yeah, they sign me up. I could work Hot Ones. I could do. I could be the guy that sets up the milk on the side. Yeah. You know? like I feel like... Careful this... around your eyes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this, this whole scenario just turned into... How can like you made a wish? We're like, oh, I wish our podcast was popular. Like, oh, sorry, I can't grant that. That's too that, that's beyond my powers. Well, like, all right, I wish I could be friends with whoever I want. So then we're just picking friends who will make the podcast. Damn, popular. <laughs> yo, being friends with Burt Kreischer. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I want to be friends with Joe Rogan just so I can go on his yo. podcast and talk about my podcast. That's a loophole. Yeah, yeah, that's how fucking. That's how the fucking multiverse broke. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly. I don't want to say it, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? It already happened. Yeah, fucking true. WandaVision. You haven't seen it yet. I mean, I'm talking about WandaVision, baby. What are you talking about? No, yeah. it's it's the lifestyle, baby. I'm, I'm upstairs. No, <laughs> where are you at? <laughs> I'm upstairs. Yo, that's crazy. Yeah, Tom Holland would be a cool friend. Well, I'm just all the way back. Nah, there. I know, right? Yeah, yeah, I think it'd be cool. So I think I'd. Go I would choose Tom a D-list. Holland. I'd go uh, a YouTuber, and then I'd stop because that's four people already. Ah, fuck it. Throw two more in. Like, ah, uh, I would do it. All right, fuck a it. A list, no. a C list, and then like a not a D list. Yeah, not a D list. <laughs> what? Do you, you got something against a D list? I'm just saying, maybe like an athlete. You could do an athlete. Ooh, like Jimmy Butler. LeBron. Oh shit. <laughs> Although Jimmy Butler sounds like a way better match. Yeah, LeBron is kind of a big deal. Yeah. I feel like you won't even be able to like talk to him because he's so like. Yeah, but, but he's like your boy though. Like oh, yeah. he'll like call you up and he's like, "Hey, I just, I just, uh, I just landed in Chicago. We're playing the Bulls tomorrow. You want to play some two K tonight?" Damn. But see, if you're friends with Lonzo, it's like, "Yo, dude, game's canceled today. You want to come through play some two K tonight?" <laughs> and since I don't go out, I don't, <laughs> since I don't go out. Yeah. <laughs> I like when both scenarios are just like you're playing two K no yeah. matter what. Yeah, you'd be friends with James Harden. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> You're definitely catching COVID after James Harden. <laughs> Think about it, though. Hey, yo, man, I got this game. Uh, the strip club's 10 minutes away. You got, you trying to pull up? <laughs> you no. trying to pull up? You just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll pay you back when I get there. Just make sure we have a table and bottle service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put, put your card on. Uh, the, the last time I was there, they, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got in trouble. No. I got in trouble. Yeah, James Harden would be a, a wild friendship. I, I think like that's a little act, too much. I feel, yeah. like, uh, I feel like that's accurate, though. I feel like he would like ask you to front shit, even though, like, your normal people money, yeah. and he's the one with the millions of dollars. But you know he's gonna sell you, like, yeah, like you tomorrow know it's morning. Gonna work, but like you're shitting bricks every time. Where it's yeah, like, those twelve hours, you're like thirty million in debt. Like <laughs> it's like fuck. But he got me though. He has. Like, to he get, he yeah. got me. He got me. But he always comes through though. Yeah, like, it's like oh, he plays tomorrow. Like Zello hit by the time I wake up. Damn. That sounds like a. That sounds like a nervous. That sounds fucking, like a high stress. Friendship, yeah, though. hell yeah. I don't know if I would do that. Instead, you got like Kyrie, who you, like you do some spiritual shit with, like you just light up some uh, incense, and and then you fucking step on the Boston logo. Yeah, uh, I don't there's, know. There's I feel cool like uh, I feel like Lonzo Ball would be a cool one, because he's like cool, but he's not like too cool, like his younger brother. <laughs> You know what I mean? He's a normal amount of cool. He's just a normal amount of cool. <laughs> you don't feel like you have to like try to be cooler? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I get you. Or, uh, oh, nah. Like the White Mamba? Oh, you could be Scal- Scal- Scalabrini. Scalabrini. Scalabrini's boy. Boy. No. Boy. You could, uh, uh, Big Sean. <laughs> Yo, Big Sean would be a good one. Yeah, I always need a reason to go to Detroit. Yeah, uh, Mac Miller. That would have been a great one. Yeah, that was like one of the first ones I thought of, and mm-hmm. then I didn't want to say it. That would have been cool. Yeah, that, that one's kind of... All right, if you give up four friends... You bring them back to life. Ah, uh, no, nah, now you're fucking with the whole timeline. Like, that's... Yeah, but like, I mean, there's probably a timeline where Mac Miller didn't die, and he's just out there fucking releasing tracks. Or would you become friends with the drug dealer that sold him the drugs and, and try to tell him not, not to? Him? Or, and hear me out... In the universe where Mac Miller didn't die, uh huh, do you think that he would have ever had a song with Billie Eilish? Like Billie Eilish now? Well, just in some point in the future, like, do you think they would have collabed on a song? I think so. Because yeah, one hundred percent. Yes. Yeah. Like, like, there's not a lot of doubt in my mind. Like Billie Eilish is weird enough, but sh- her voice is still good enough where he will appreciate the, the yeah. melodies and shit. And yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think they would. They would do it. Damn. They could have made a song. You could save him. 
just at the, at the expense of a couple of friends. I mean, your friends aren't dying, though. They're just never going to remember you. Yeah, yeah. They're just not. Yeah, it would be worse. They don't remember you or like they're they actively know that you you gave them up so you could be friends <laughs> with Mac Miller. That, I mean, would you be mad, though? I wouldn't be mad. Like, like, hey, Trado, we got to stop our friendship. Just cut the cut the yeah, cut the podcast. Cut yeah. But Mac Miller is coming back. I would not be mad at that. All right. OK, I guess that that one. That, that one's, one's a, little a little extreme. A little extreme. But if it's like, hey, but uh, I, I became best friends with LeBron. We're starting a podcast yeah. called The Barbershop. No, it's the, yeah, I guess, the shop. Yeah, I can't even be mad. Okay, yeah, I'd be maybe, I'd be upset if it was like either like the D-list YouTuber that I've never heard of. You know, so I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what the fuck is this? guy it? doesn't like, even have a million views yet. Like, what do you? <laughs> yeah, like I would look him up and like start bitching about the yeah. person. Yeah. Look at him. He dude, his fucking camera's all cheap. Like yeah. what are you? Like, what the fuck? Yeah. I'd be like uh, talking shit about the, the fucking <laughs> TikTok guy. This motherfucker looks like a <laughs> his his fucking sweater probably smells like grease from all yeah. that fucking deep fried food. Probably fucking burn the burn the chicken. Hello, how you doing? <laughs> I'd be upset with those. You stop watching Sopranos, like you just... <laughs> I want nothing to do with Italian Americans ever again. Yeah, that's wild, dude. I don't know. That would be crazy. I don't know who I would choose. Uh, one one last thought that I had recently to, to close off. Um, you know, so in the show The Office. Mm-hmm. Great show, by the way. Good show. Great show. I'm like 99% convinced that if in the world of The Office, COVID-19 happened. Okay. Michael would be anti vax Ooh, 100% convinced. No, well, that I mean, I don't know, because he's very gullible to shit. But I feel like if he has his heart set out on something, like he would definitely not. See, this, this is how I see it playing out. Yeah. Right? It starts. And like from the beginning of the pandemic, he's like super like doing everything exactly as people say. Yeah. And then like more like conspiracies start coming out and more shit starts coming out and like. And then he reads it and is like, oh, maybe, maybe it's wrong. And so he's like, you know, originally like anti-mask, right? Mm -hmm. And anti like lockdowns and stuff, right? Right. Because he's, he's gullible. And then the vaccine comes out or the vaccine starts being developed and it comes out. And originally he's like super excited about it and like he's going to go get it. But then he hears Toby talking about the vaccine. Ah. And Toby, because he's like super like statistical and like, you know, straight forward person yeah he'll be for the vaccine and he'll be telling everyone else to get the vaccine so mike already is like skeptical and then now he's going against Co- uh kobe <laughs> kobe <laughs> damn mike so, and kobe yeah. so now he won't get it yeah no okay so that i get happening it, i can see it but then dwight would be super anti-vax because yeah, he so has a saying. family recipe <laughs> that he could conjure yeah. up and then he, he gives it to Michael because Michael doesn't want to do what Toby's, what Toby's doing. doing. Yeah. So he does whatever Dwight gives yeah. him. So my, Michael would be like all for fucking uh, the the, ho- the horse pace thing, whatever it's yeah. called. Yeah. And then Dwight... <laughs> See, that'd be even funny because, like, Dwight would be like, well, that's obviously stupid, but let me give you this 500-year-old yeah. per- potion. So that Michael gets a stomachache and thinks he's dying. <laughs> so he has to, he tells someone to take him to the hospital. Yeah, and then they give him the shot anyway. And they give him the shot anyway. When he's knocked out, they give it to him. And then Jim milks the shit out of it. He's like, hey, man, uh, I think I got COVID. You got to shut down the office. We yeah. all got to go home early. Yeah, it's because he's trying to get everyone yeah. to work. Damn. There you go. We just wrote an episode of The Office. You're welcome, CBS. Wow. <laughs> That would be fire, actually. That would be pretty funny. The fucking COVID special, just like South Park. They have a COVID special? I yeah. stopped watching South Park. I just know they have a COVID special. Yeah. No, huh. right, yeah. I've, I've actually never really, like, seen it, you know? I've seen episodes and stuff, but I've never, like, all right, I'm going to sit down, start the season, finish the season. Excuse me. Finish the season. What would the community episode on COVID look like? Ooh. That would be a good one. Feel like the Pierce principal would be anti-vax. <laughs> like oh just, yeah, let me just throw that one out real quick. One hundred percent. They would be mad at him. Everyone's like, they don't want to invite him to the fucking yeah. group because and he's anti-vax because he's like the perfect like at-risk candidate. Yeah, and he's the one who doesn't want to get it. Yeah, 
And it's uh, like, hey, man, you can't study with us if you don't have your vax. Yeah. Like, uh, I feel like Abed would also be anti, but he'd have, like, some weird logic about it. Massive. Like, like he'd be, like, the super, like, conspiracy loophole thing, you know? And he would, like, compare it to, like, a movie on, uh, yeah. like, the the Outbreaks movie. Uh, 28 Days Later or something? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, he'd compare it to something like yeah. that. Or like World War Z or something. Uh-huh. Or, oh, shit. Wait, would most of the... Wait, hold on. Dude. <laughs> would most of the group be anti... Because <laughs> Britta, I could see her being like anti-mask, anti-mandates. Cause yeah, she just wants like, to live free. Yeah, and that's her whole fucking character, basically. She wants to go out and go to the yeah. bars and shit. And then I would imagine that Shirley would be anti as well because she's a strong Christian and believes in religion. So she yeah. like goes super into it. So she's not getting it. Her husband's definitely not getting yeah, it. Yeah, and her you kids know? aren't getting it. Yeah. And then Annie would probably be all for it because she's like studying. Well, studying. I feel like Annie would show, get it. She's like studying medicine and stuff. I feel like she would get it. Yeah. And I think Jeff would get it because, you know, he's always trying to sleep with Annie. Yeah. Which, didn't they like smile at each other towards the end? <laughs> didn't they smile at each other once? They didn't kiss though, right? At they the just. Season finale, they kissed. They kissed, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um,. Yeah, so he'd probably get it because of that reason. And what about uh? And I don't know. Choice kind of up in the air because, uh, like, I think he would. I feel like he would just follow whatever Abed is yeah, doing. Yeah, that's like my initial thought. But but I feel like he would also try to convince Abed to get it. You know, like he would try to reason with him. Yeah. So I feel like he would get it, and then Abed would dislike him for a bit. Like you, they'd have some sort of internal conflict. Yeah, and then the, uh, not the principal. It was it, the dean. Yeah. I feel like the dean would always pop up and be like, "Hey guys, don't forget we're giving out free yeah. COVID." Uh, it's like a, it's like a fucking dance. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fucking, don't forget to sign up for your yeah, free COVID shot. Vaccine yeah. dance. Vaccine. Yeah. And then the the Asian guy. Um, I feel uh, like he'll be Shang. Ru- Shang will be running around sneezing on everybody, and like, <laughs> like you know purposely. Yeah. yeah. Is it, Damn, is it, is that's it cool? actually pretty. Yeah, it's pretty cool pretty how when shows are written well and like the characters are defined, you can like take something that doesn't exist in the show and kind of figure out what the characters would mm-hmm. do, and then it could be adapted to like real yeah. life situations. Damn, that's pretty good. That'd be a good episode. I would watch that. There we go. You're welcome, CBS. 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 CBS? Yeah. Oh no, that's uh, NBC as well. Is it? Oh, it is. Because yeah. that was the same network as The Office. Yeah. Wow. There we go. We just gave you two you fucking go. COVID specials. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I'll expect my royalty checks in the mail. Yo, if uh, you got friends out there, we're not talking. It's because I became friends with uh, Lonzo Ball. Yeah. Lonzo Ball, LeBron, what up? Yeah. DeMar DeRozan, fucking sign me up. <laughs> yeah, just put me in the backcourt. I'll put my hands up. You know? <laughs> coach, I'll, I can stand here all I'll day. I'll clog the lane. Just tell me what to <laughs> yeah. do, coach. <laughs> I can do charges like no other. Hell yeah. Because I'm literally falling down. These guys are fucking <laughs> strong. I'm not flinching. I'm just, <laughs> I'm planting my feet. I'm pre-falling. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, yo, Charity Without a Radio, thank you for tuning in. If you haven't already, go hit subscribe to all our platforms and follow us on Instagram for your chance to win this bottle of kombucha. Um, yeah, Charity Without a Radio. See you guys next week. All right. Cool.